Hello everyone, welcome back to Johnny's NASDAQ YouTube channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you Tabby.io, this website. Tabby is a website who is providing free tier S3 compatible geo distributed object storage solution, high speed and 99.99% uh, .99 reliability. It does have free tier which provides you 25 gigabytes for data storage, 250 gigabytes outbound transfer per month, support included on limited upload. Perfect solution for us to use to store our images, photos. I'm also gonna integrate it with ShareX, which is one of the best screen capture software. I use it every day to capture my screenshots and upload to my storage website. I'm having videos show you how to use ShareX and how to integrate with other third-party storage solution company not such as Scaleway, Backbrace B2, that in one of my blog posts. This is one reason I like Tabby.io, not Backbrace B2. That is because of the limitation from Backbrace. I only have 90 megabyte files, but uh, because of the Class B transaction caps, 2500, I'm easily reach the limitation from my website. Since I found Tabby.io this website, I already transferred my new screenshot to Tabby.io with ShareX integration. One click, one key to capture the screenshot and automatically upload to Tabby.io and then you will get the URL to paste it into your blog post or any other web application to use it. Now let's start it. The first thing we do we are gonna create account or register account to tap into our website. You can click here start this plan. That's the plan we would like to start it. Um, you also can sign up using email or you can log in using Google account or GitHub account. So I'm gonna use my Gmail account to log in since it's a much simple easy way to do that. I'm gonna agree to sign up. Of course you need to confirm your email address from the email you receive it. You're probably going to receive this kind of uh, email and telling you to activate your account. Once you confirmed your email address, then the banner is going to go away. So it's a very simple process to register your account. And one thing I would like to say is by default, you get 14 days trial. By default, it's not free to you. You have to start your plan, but you can do it because you haven't added your credit card. Okay, that's pretty much how you can register your account and how you can start your free tier plan. So next section, we will talk about how to create your own bucket, your keys, To create the bucket and create your keys to access your bucket, it's pretty simple, easy to do. Just click on bucket, you add a bucket, give a name. I will give NetSec. Hopefully nobody using it. Then, yeah, perfect, nobody using it, you can use it. If you want to make any changes, let change it now. For example, access control, hosting, you can enable hosting, so people can remotely access your web 
static web page on this website. We can talk about this in the future videos, but for today, right now, we just leave it as default. We don't have access keys here. You can add one. You can do it from the bucket properties, or you can do it from keys menu. So I'm gonna do it from here. So we're gonna add a new key. So here is a tricky part. You have new key, you have secret. What kind of permission you're gonna use? So right now it's full. So we will leave it default, but in the future we will change it once we start to use it in our share X. So we have bucket and now we can log into bucket. You can drag anything to your bucket. So let's do that. I just drag the one photo and it will be uploaded to it. Then you can click on it to access to it. This is available URL for you to use it anywhere. Simple, easy. But how we gonna integrate with ShareX? So while after we use the ShareX capture a screenshot, we want it to automatically upload to this bucket and then get the URL for us and then we can use it. So that will be in my next section. If you notice in Tabby's homepage, the Tabby feature section, it mentions FTP support. So basically Tabby supports you to use FTP or SFTP to upload or download your data. So that gives an opportunity to integrate ShareX, this best free and open source screen capture software to use Tabby as image hosting website. If you watched my previous video regarding ShareX and blog post, then you will notice once you right click ShareX icon, you will have destination settings to configure your destinations. There's a lot of other third party storage website for you to choose and configure. So far, I'm still thinking Tabby is gonna be a best solution for you to use for free hosting your images and the screenshots. I tried some others before. I tried Backbridge B2. I tried Nextcloud. But comparing to Tabby, they are providing most generous free tier solution for you to use. It's enough for a small to medium sized website to use it as your free hosting website. And the date is in your hand. So here is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna configure our FTP. You will see FTP, FTPS, SFTP. So we're gonna add a new site. So we're gonna give a name. I will say Tabby. That's it. You don't have to provide much information here. We're gonna put ftp.tabby.io what's the username password go back to your bucket you're gonna add it the access key this is your username and the secret will be your password so we will need to tie down the access control we don't need the lows, we just need FTP, FTPS, we also need upload. That's the only thing you need. We're gonna copy this out first. Copy copy the username. Then we're gonna copy the password. Secret. You need 
to type in the bucket name in a remote directory and you need to also give the URL path so you can easily get the URL after you uploaded your image so we can copy this one here as 3 So basically, after you uploaded your image, then you will get this URL. Test it. So it says authentication failed. The reason why, because one settings we haven't enabled yet. There's a couple things you may want to enable. Default ACL, you want to give it to public. So once you uploaded your file, you want to give it public access. So we gave those, we update. Bucket has been successfully updated. After that, test it again. Perfect. So now we can connect it. We just need to update the permission. To make sure that we have public access. So now, let's do uploading. So we're going to go back to our bucket. Right now, we only have one file, one .png file. What we can do is, we can upload our second file, which I downloaded before on my desktop. We're going to right-click on the image, upload with ShareX. So, but the ShareX, how we defined it, where to upload it, Let's take a look. You need to find destination. So right now it's send to backbridge B2. Now we want we don't want to use in that. We're gonna use FTP. So basically after we capture screenshot or after we select it, upload it with ShareX, it will use this destination FTP to upload to it. Or you would, do you want to change this as well, change it to FTP if it's a file. So for others, you can keep it exactly the same, don't need to change. So you want you may want to double check your destination settings here. Destination it's set to FTP, FTP, destination settings. If you go back here, you want to make sure your image will send to this FTP. You may have multiple FTP accounts to use, so you may want to choose your file and your text, your image, all of them being set to this tabby FTP site. So that's the one thing you want to check. So now we're gonna upload the file. So upload with ShareX. Right away, you see we got a link and then we also, the image shows uploaded. We can double check our bucket to double check to make sure it is there. Bucket, let's check. So two is here. Now, based on our ShareX configuration, the URL has been automatically configured, copy to the clipboard after upload the task, the URL has been copied to the clipboard. So we can basically, we can just paste control V this URL to here to verify. So now we have this image available for us to use. Will it support HTTPS? Let's give it a try. It will also be supported. So it can be HTTP H HTTPS either way. So basically if you want to change it to HTTPS in the destination settings here, you can change it to HTTPS. Make sure this is s3.tabby.io. Test it again. More same is fine, you can log in. So next time when you upload your file, when you capture your screenshot, it can be automatically 
upload to your FTP site. So for example, I press print screen key. So I'm going to do this. And apply the changes. This image will be uploaded to tabby.io bucket. So you just need to refresh it, you will see this image. And then you can paste the image URL to show the image right away. So that's how powerful we can use ShareX and Tabby.io to construct our own image hosting website, which you have 250 gigabytes outbound traffic to use, more than enough to small and medium website. That's pretty much all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Give me some up if you think this video gives you some useful information. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your watching. See you in my next video.